Well, it looks like without Anthony Davis, Lakers is not winning any games anytime soon. So Lakers played against the Memphis Grizzlies, lost by 17, 131 to 114. Grizzlies scored 35 points in the first quarter. And in the third quarter, they scored 36 points. And as well as the fourth quarter, they scored 36. So they scored 36 in two quarters back to back. I feel like the game was already over after the first half alone. They haven't gotten a good rhythm ever since. LeBron could not carry this team as much as he tried to. Okay, 39 points for LeBron, 7 rebounds, 6 assists, 6 from 11 from the 3-point line, and 15 from 24 from the field. Okay, he played 35 minutes alone. This guy completely had to put the book bag on and carry the game himself even though he didn't secure the win him playing as many minutes as he did at the age he is 40 years old remember lebron's 40 years old man and him doing everything that's pretty impressive i'm not gonna lie but he shouldn't have to do that in the first place but his teammates are terrible Dalton connect 27 minutes he played one, one from seven from the three-point line only three points terrible austin reeves seven from 17 from the field two from nine from the three 19 points he did pretty okay but some of the field goal percentage is just this way off d'angelo russell now this guy right here i don't know what is going on with d'lo but d'lo when he plays really bad the lakers end up losing like i've noticed this time and time again we don't have anthony davis this is the time for you to step up even more and he don't have anybody on the team to help fill that gap in now d'lo four from 12 from the field two from nine from the three with only 12 points then you had cam reddish who did a really good job i'm actually really impressed with his play style and how he played last night that was really good five from seven from the field two from two perfect from the three-point line with 15 points if anything he was one of the most consistent players on the entire team thus far now gabe vincent he hasn't been the same since miami heat I i'm gonna just be honest with you he hasn't really played the same way he did when he was over there in florida okay when he was in miami he was playing the way better game than he is playing on the lakers so max christine nothing much there Bronny james you already know you're gonna get two points nothing much there as well so yeah it really comes down to it if anthony davis is not healthy the lakers is gonna be in shambles man because lebron can do but so much from his standpoint i mean he did a tremendous job scoring damn near 40 points and still lose the game anyway so it goes to show when it comes down to that you still need a dominant player or a player that can score over 30 plus points now as far as the rebounds go they got jaron jackson jr 20 points eight from 13 from the field one from four from the three-point line john moran was killing it oh my god if they can't find a way to contain john morant it's going to be an issue so john morant was seven from 17 from the field two from three from the three-point line 20 points john moran jalen wells and jaron jackson jr spread out with three different players so that goes to show if you have more players that can score 20 to plus points then you have scotty pippen jr with 14 five from nine from the field when you have multiple players that can put up at least 15 to 20 points per game you have a guarantee win a guarantee win and that's the issue that lakers don't have lakers bench players are garbage like straight trash they have no one else that come off the bench to put a great amount of numbers lebron was playing by himself at this point he had no help at all so without anthony davis being healthy yeah lakers ain't gonna do it anymore i don't think the lakers have a good run if um ad doesn't come out of injury so if he don't play lakers lose because if you deal don't step up and then austin rezo step up automatically lose game right there it sucks to see it but that's just how it is man honestly with far as like the turnovers go they didn't have that many turnovers compared to the grizzlies which i was like okay this is a bit confusing here because if they would have had more turnovers it would have made more sense why they lost but they had less turnovers than the grizzlies grizzlies had 18 turnovers lakers had 11 so yeah i don't know but they had a lot of steals so more steals on the Lakers side versus the Grizzlies side and yet they still lost the game but they see how they doubled in rebounds 37 rebounds for the Lakers and 50 rebounds for the Grizzlies that's a lot of rebounds that could have been got if Anthony Davis was on the floor as we see without AD Lakers is cooked